Hello everybody, we are here for some happy mail and some savings challenge stuffing. So join me to see what my happy mail is because I have no idea. It is the best kind of happy mail ever. It is a present and of course, let's get these savings challenges stuffed. Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. As I said in the intro, we've got a piece of Happy Mail and we've got to get our sinking funds stuffed. So let's go ahead and do this. I want to give a quick shout out before I even know what's in here to my friend Amy from Dino Budgets. If you guys haven't checked her out, go check her out. And she always has her little T-Rex book, which is so cute. And her budgeting has been on point. I love watching her budgeting videos. And she is just so, so sweet. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it. There's a sloth to do. That's an awesome little notebook. I like that. So it just opens up. And look at those. Look at all those to-do lists. Amy knows what my heart is and where it's at. So let me just read the card really quick and then I'll show you guys. All right, so super cute. It says, just thought I'd send you a little hello. And it says hello in there and it says, hi Marlene, I wanted to send this weeks ago, but my July got away from me. Thank you for the note with the stickers. Hope you are doing well with your channel and garden. They are definitely keeping you busy. I hope you will enjoy the notepad. I know it isn't a gnome, but it was too cute to pass up. Love Amy, Dino Budgets. And it is super cute, Amy. Thank you so much. I love getting happy mail. It just brings a smile to my face and I will definitely put this to use because I'm always making notes for what I need to do. And as a matter of fact, I've got notes right off to the side for my videos, right? As I film my videos. So saving challenges. Let's go ahead and get these done. We are starting a brand new scratcher from Hands and Bands. And if you missed my Happy Mail last week, you better go check it out because it was from Hands and Bands. It was an order that I had placed, but she got me some extra things and it was pretty cool. And so let's go ahead and get our money on out of here. This is our savings challenge binder. And we have also got our Australia. Here is our scratch offs right here. We've got our accomplishments challenge. We've got our garden challenge in here. And then we need to grab out our July savings challenge right here and pull that on out so we are prepared and ready to stuff these savings challenges. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to roll to see how many we scratch. Now, I can tell you guys, I don't have a ton of, ton of money left. This is going towards Australia. So... Should we roll or should we just scratch? You know what? I think in order to control our spending this month for our savings challenges, we're just going to scratch. I am going to go ahead and scratch this one right here and see what we've got. So we have got $2. Now we're going to go ahead and scratch one more. And we're going to roll the dice, but we're going to roll the dice to tell us which one to scratch, okay? So one, two, three. Four is already scratched, five or six. Four, four is already scratched, two. So we're gonna scratch this one right here. And this one is a seven. So we're gonna go ahead and add $7 into this challenge this time. I was trying to scratch this off right here. Oops, not trying to cheat, I swear. So $7, oh perfect, I do have two ones. Five, six, seven. And you'll notice that this one is empty and that's because personal care, we put that money towards our personal care already. So scratch offs and Alicia was so sweet because she sent me this envelope that says scratch offs because I just had a handwritten note in there and she saw that so she was amazing. So make sure you go check out her channel. And so we've got that one. Oh, and then we're gonna do the 100 envelope challenge because it's right here. We are going to roll our dice for this one as well. And the way that I do this is I roll my dice until we get an envelope that's open. Now, I wish I could do two, three envelopes every single week, but my budget just doesn't allow for it. So let's take a look. We've got this 20-sided die right here. So we've got seven, and we know seven is already full. We've got 17, 24 is already full. Two, 26 is already full. Oh, plus three, 29 is already full. 
plus five. Looks like $34 today. So I'll let me grab a pen and get this colored in. So $34 for our envelope today. 34. Do we have change for 34? We have 30. And we need some ones. Well, I know that I just put a bunch of ones into my tip money. So I am going to take five ones out of there. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, two snaps. Two snaps. If you can tell me who two snaps is, make sure you list that down below. Um, a shout out to her because I love it when she pulls her money just right. So $34. So 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's take a look and see where 34 is. 34, right there. We've only got one number in the 20s, and we're going to just be getting higher and higher. And let's see. I cannot remember how many envelopes we have. I meant to write it down the last time, and I forgot. So we're going to write it down how many envelopes we have. So we've got one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, and 3. So if we've got enough money left, we might be adding this here shortly to the bank because we're doing 25 envelopes. I hate leaving money just sitting here, and this is a challenge that's going to take me quite a while. So we're going to go ahead and write this right here. So 7, 25. We had 23 envelopes. And you can see the first 25 envelopes have already went in the bank. They're already in our Australia fund. And there was $742 in our first envelopes. So that is it for our 100 envelope challenge. Move this on out of here. And let's see, what do we have next? Oh, we have Bloomin' for Bucks. We are going to go ahead and color in a flower. So we're going to grab $5.00. And we're going to go ahead and color this one in. And this is the color that we had out. And I joked around last week saying that I am going to color all of the daffodils different colors because it's my coloring sheet and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> because, of course, daffodils would be yellow. And I love yellow, but I grabbed pink the first week. So now I've got blue. Can you imagine how pretty this color of daffodil would be in real life? Amazing. So let's go ahead and add this into our... Uh, flower garden plants and gardens and you guys my new markers are here but I have not filmed my video yet so we are just gonna grab a marker it's probably not gonna stay but it's okay we'll get them recolored once they do stay so we're just adding in five dollars we're just gonna color it in with this five dollars there and this is from my girl, Caroline, from Carol Cash. And I like, if you guys haven't watched her channel, she does this type of stuff for a lot of her things. And what I like is at the end of the month, she'll clear this off, right? She'll be like, all right, I've got 15 bucks. I'm going to clear those off. I'm going to color in one of these 15s. That means she still has those fives available. And that is what I plan on doing as well. So $15 there put that back in there and this of course is from hands and bands too you can tell i love her her savings challenges then we've got our girl chris from chris budgets and we are going to go ahead and color a pair of sunglasses and you know what? actually we're gonna color we're gonna get both of these colored we're gonna just close this one out because july is almost over the other savings challenges are not month orientated or is orientated is not the right word what the heck is the right word but we're going to go ahead and color both of these in we're going to kind of do it quick because i know you guys got other things to do besides watching me color so we've got ten dollars there and you've got we got hearts so we got to have a pair of pink ones right so pink sunglasses so this is forty dollars and i am going to be taking this and putting this towards mexico for whatever we need. And if I've got this money left, this is going to be being uh, forwarded to Australia. So I decided that this month that since we are headed to Mexico shortly, 
that this would be an extra $40. I probably was going to add it to tips because we are fully funded on most everything else and I don't plan on spending a ton of spending money. So uh, there's that. So let's go ahead and grab the loan 20 out of here. And so that gives us 10, 20, and 40. That means that our savings challenge for Chris is all full before July is over. And then we've got our reading challenge. And our reading challenge, this right here, it's kind of a short one because we went through the 20th last time. And so we've got July 21st through the 25th is what we have for reading. So four days. <coughs> I can tell you that one day I sat and read for probably three or four hours. So I normally only give myself a bonus of one, but I am going to let myself for that day have three stars. And then I had two other days that I read as well. And this is for clothing. And so we're going to go ahead and put $5 in. Yes, we are. $5. It's not a lot, but it's one of those things. I did buy books with the money from the last time. Let me go grab those and show those to you guys. My last accomplishment savings challenge is I was saving money so I could buy myself some books. I bought myself this set of books right here. This is the book that I spent reading. And so I'm done with the first one, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just started A Court of Mist and Fury last night. And then I've got A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I love these books not sponsored. Sarah J. Moss, these are the first books of hers that I've read. I will include the Amazon link down below just in case you want to get it. If you do click on it and get it, it is an affiliate link, but I'm not doing that for any reason besides to help you guys find them if you want. Loving these books so far. This one I loved. This one I just started. I'm only on chapter four. Super excited to be able to save money for myself to get books. And now of course I'm saving money to get some clothing. So $5 we're going to be adding into our accomplishments, which is right here. So not a lot of money, but just a little bit, right, towards stuff that I want. So let's see where we're at. We're at 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 bucks. $20 towards something for clothing that I can stuff. All righty. And then... Last but not least, we have got Australia. So let's see, what do we have? <laughs> I mean, this is the end of the month, right, guys? 50, 60. Let's see. You know what? Let's grab our 100 envelopes, too. Let's see what we've got. What's our smallest envelope that we've got? 21. So if we take 21, yep. All right, so we're going to take this $21 right here, and look at that. We are we are going to fill another envelope. So $21, we are going to go ahead and fill that envelope. And then we are going to go ahead and put $60 towards Australia. That's right, you guys. We're going to go ahead and take that full $60 that's left. That means there is nothing moving forward this month to next month for savings challenges, but that is A-OK. -okay. And of course, I just wrote right here that that was 23 envelopes, but we're at 24. So next time we stuff, we're going to be counting our envelopes and getting those put into the bank to see how much we have in the second 25 envelopes. Now, let's talk about Australia. So we're going to go ahead and add $60 in there. So we're going to color our kangaroos and we're going to color three of those. And again, this is a Caro Cash. And I always talk about my friend Taylor from Taylor Louise Budgets because she was kind enough to gift me this from Caroline. And we are saving up. And I really think my new goal for Australia is probably closer to eighteen dollars to $20,000, just so you guys know, for Australia. Um, the more research I've done, the prices of tickets. And I would rather have way too much money than not have enough. So we are just going to start putting more money towards Australia. And wow, I can't color, but we got to color this one to match, right? Oh my goodness. My kindergarten teacher is frowning at me right now for not staying in the light. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab 60 more dollars, 50 and 60. So that means that we have, so if you look down here at the bottom, 
for the little circles that are filled in. That says $4,200, so let's double check that. So we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 100, 200 in the bank. And then we've got another 100 right there. And we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. And we've got 50, 60, 70, 80. So we are getting there. So I would say that we are getting close to 25% of our goal. And I'm super happy with that. We are going to be adding, of course, the 25 envelopes that we're going to be counting here probably this next week or two. And, you know, that's going to start adding up because that right there is over $5,000. So I've only put 700. Let's see. What did I say I put in? Let's double check. So I put $742 in and the 100 envelope challenge is 5050 so if we subtract 742, that means I still have $4,300 for the 100 envelope challenge. So if you add that and that, these two here, you know, that takes us to about nine grand. And so that would be about halfway between those things there. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for joining me for my savings challenges. It's one of my favorite videos to do. And a thank you to my dear friend, Amy from Dino Budgets. If you haven't checked her channel out, make sure you go take a look. She has amazing videos, like I said. I love that her budget is so realistic and they are doing a lot with their money. Thanks you guys for joining me today. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you